I would like to thank Dr. Lorraine Austin. Um, she is a professor in my program, and she started out as a professor and ended up as a mentor. And also the Office of Student Life for all of their programs and the opportunities that they've given me in leadership positions. And I'd have to thank my sister for teaching me all of the Grand Valley ins and outs, for inspiring me to join Student Senate. Well, I'd definitely like to thank my advisor, Chris Haven. He's been a tremendous support throughout this whole thing. He's been a great friend. The faculty, because they have really showed me that I can get a really great education here at Grand Valley. I'd like to thank Professor Kilborn. He was my first professor, first class in my freshman year. I'd like to thank all of my professors just for putting up with me, helping me grow, helping me learn, seeing things about myself that I didn't even know I had. My brother and my sister, all my other family members and friends who have supported me over the past four years. I would love to thank all of my hospitality professors. They have taught me so much and I wouldn't be the person I am today without all of their guidance. If I could thank uh, a group of people, it'd be everyone associated with the Cook Leadership Academy for allowing me the opportunity to develop as a leader and as a student. My professors for mentoring me through all the internships. I also like to thank my friends who have supported me through I mean, everything. And the psychology professors in the psychology department for giving me a wonderful education. I would like to thank Juanita Davis um, with the Freshman Academy program. Um, she definitely helped me get immersed in the college experience. I'd like to take, thank the entire art department, especially Hoon Lee. I want to thank everyone at Grand Valley. I want to thank my professors, my coaches. I'd really like to thank Valerie Jones and Terry Losey for really opening the doors and the opportunities that really shaped me into the person I am today. And my advisor, Marnie. Um, also all the other professors in the writing department, they're fantastic. And really I'd love to thank the people at Grand Valley, you know, President Haas, everybody who's making this, um, this experience for me just beyond what I anticipated for college. You know, it's really, really directed my life in a way that I never expected. If I had to thank anybody today for my experience here at Grand Valley, it would be my mom and dad and family. I'd like to thank my parents. Both of my parents. I'd like to thank my family. Most importantly, I do want to thank my family and my parents. My parents. Thank my parents. For supporting me through every decision that I've made here. They have been there for me through it all. You know, cannot do this without them. They've really had a contribution to my education and just who I am as a person. For challenging me and telling me to go past my expectations. For giving me the opportunity to come to such an amazing school. And they have put all their time and investment into me and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mom and Dad. To be a Laker for a lifetime is just to remember all those people who have given me the opportunity to be successful in college and when I am successful in my career definitely give back to the scholarships that have meant so much to me. Being a Laker is everything to me. I walked into this school knowing that I fit in here and I've had the best experience. It may be different for everyone but it means to really live up to those goals and things that you set out while being here and getting your degree and moving on and really utilizing those tactics and those tools and those skills and competencies and making an impact. To me, being a Laker means getting involved. Representing what it means to be a Laker through your actions every day. To me, that means not only giving back to Grand Valley, but the community it serves and growing in that Laker family. Forming connections with fellow students and also with the faculty, really getting to know what other people's passions are and allowing their passions to um, help me for my own. It's an honor and to wear the GV symbol, like there's a lot of just commitment and excellence that that stands for and I'm just really proud to be a part of that. I came out of Grand Valley a, a better person than I was when I came in and I think it's this community that's helped me grow as an individual. I have been a transitions leader for the past two years and it has really shown me um, how to give back to this community and be thankful for everything I've had here. To me, to be a Laker for a lifetime, it's giving back to the community and to the people that invested in me. Now I think it's my turn to invest back in the, this community as well. It definitely means support and community involvement, being there for one another. Then I'm always going to have that family, those Grand Valley students that I met during my years in the university, that I'm going to have those relationships the rest of my life. Take all that you've learned of the liberal education that we've gotten here at this university and applying it to everything we do in life. It means being a part of a family for a lifetime. No matter where I go, I'll always be a Laker.